guys, I'm Jess 635 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Nerf Vortex VTX Praxis. The Nerf Vortex VTX Praxis comes with the blaster itself, 20 discs, and two magazines, each capable of holding 10 discs, besides the box and instructions. So here's the blaster, as you can see, in all of its wonderful new paint scheme glory against my green screen here. So. First, let's do a quick overview of the blaster. So, as you can see here in the front, this is a vortex blaster, so it shoots the discs, and this is the barrel. The discs come out there from that part where it looks like the discs come from. Right here, you do have a shotgun pump grip so that you can prime it, but if you do not have a magazine in, like I do not right now, it will not let you prime the blaster. So, good luck to you. If you want to prime this, you do have a tactical rail up here, so you can put on an optic or whatever you want if you have a scope. This right here, I'll show you what it does in a minute, but it is a disc release. Right here, this orange thing on both sides is the magazine release. So when you put a magazine in, just push that in, and it'll put it down. So if we were to take our magazine, put that in right there, just push that, and it does eject the magazine. And then right back here, we have a stock attachment point so that you can attach a stock on. You also do have a few bandolier attachment points, one being right up here towards the back. The one being right up here towards the front, kind of on this iron sight looking thing. So those are <laughs> bandolier attachment points. So now I'm just going to talk about this stuff and all this. So obviously when you put the magazine in, kind of like this, you know, you can eject it like so. Put the magazine in like that. And say you, now we can prime the blaster. So if we have primed the blaster now, say we eject the magazine now because we don't want it anymore. But now you're wondering, we still have this disc loaded in. So how do we get that out? Because we don't want to fire it. So this is what this thing does. You push this, and it will eject your disc. And there you go. There's the disc. And now you can load that back in so that your whole magazine is full again. Kind of like this. So now I'm going to talk about the magazine briefly. Here we have the magazine for the Nerf Vortex VTX Praxis. This is the one that it includes. And you get two of these. Each one of these can hold 10 discs. And to load the discs, you just take the discs, push them in right down there so that they go under these lips, and then you just push it down. And then you do that nine more times so that all your discs get nice and loaded up in there. Kind of like I'm doing right now. just like that. So now we're all loaded up and ready to go. You may notice on the magazine that right here there's a little part that is pushed in when you insert this magazine into the gun and I'll show you what this allows you to do in a second but let's go back to the gun. Alright so now you may be wondering what that spring part of the magazine was for. If we do take a look at the blaster right here as you can see there's kind of the inside. You can see that there's a little dot down there and what happens is when you insert the magazine in kind of like this the spring part engages with that, so the spring is pushed, so it's compressing just a little bit in here. And then when you eject the magazine, like I'm about to do right now, you can see it pops up a little bit. So it does have a bit of extra force when it releases, which helps it not get stuck, so that it will just come out nice and easy. And that's what that whole thing is for. But now you may be wondering if what happens if I load the discs in the wrong way. I don't know if you were wondering this or not, but let's just load the first disc in the opposite direction that you're supposed to. If you put that in, prime the blaster, and you cannot fire the blaster at all. I am pulling the trigger. It does not work. So obviously you'll have to eject, and then you'll have to use this button again. That was obviously not something you're supposed to do, though. It's not really a problem. And lastly, I'll just talk about this grip and kind of the trigger and all that. The grip is fine. It feels nice. You know, just, just like that. And the length of pull for the trigger is fine comfortable and for me I like to engage the magazine release with my thumb and it's on both sides like I said so you can either do it on this side or on this side right here and my hand is just big enough to be able to reach it I have an average about average sized hand so unless you're a little kid you shouldn't really have a whole lot of problems in which case you just take your hand off the pump and then you just work it with your other hand just so I could show the camera and lastly kind of the rail and stock work with and strike rail attachments and, and strike stocks. Um, I did have a bit of a hard time getting the stock shot stock on here because it's one of the few stocks that I have loose. But I believe it accepts most stocks. And it probably doesn't accept any of the rival stuff. But besides the rival stuff, you can use all your end strike stuff on here. So now that we've talked about the blaster, 
I'm going to go out on the firing range and give you a test fire of the blaster. Alright guys, so here we are on the firing range, as you can see, a lot of miscellaneous patio furniture has appeared since the last time we were out here, but that is fine because there's a bit of clear area for us to fire through. So I will make a note that there is a bit of noticeable wind going against us, but it's really not that much wind, so just factor that in when you kind of see these results. And then after I fire all 10 of the discs from the magazine down here, as you can see, there it is, fully loaded. I will measure them and then we will go back and I will give my final thoughts and recommendation on this blaster. So without further ado, let's get into the firing test. Alright, so that was the last one. Please keep a note for these firing tests that we I am firing from about three feet up with the blaster, but I'm on a platform that's about two and a half feet up from the ground. So now let's go and I know that all the discs skipped, but I know about where they went, so let's go and measure that now. Alright, so now we're gonna go measure. Woo. See if my tape measure is long enough at all. Oh boy. And it appears I am out right about here, so this is about 12 feet, so now let's, let's go back more. Gotta get some of it back in, and then we'll just kind of step on it. <laughs> I believe this should be enough. Okay, so about right here is where most of them were landing. So, I give it ranges of about, about 22 feet. This is a 12 foot long tape measure. So from here to right around here where they were all landing, about I'd give it 22 to 25 feet ranges. Obviously some stuff did skip. And all of the discs are just on the ground over here now. Because if you did not know, the discs roll and ricochet, all that crazy fun stuff. So I'm going to collect all the discs now, and I will meet you for the conclusion. All right, so now you have seen the firing test. You've seen the overview. So. Now, the question stands, is this blaster a good recommendation or not? So, this blaster I bought for $35 at Target. I believe it is a Target exclusive blaster. So, you won't be finding this at your Walmart or probably your Amazon either. You're going to have to go to Target or order from the online Target website to acquire this blaster. So, overall, I am pretty happy with this blaster. The ranges aren't the best, but again, we're firing from three feet up at a neutral angle. So obviously you can angle it up or angle it down to get whatever shots you need off. But overall the discs were pretty sh were pretty accurate. I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about that. You know, they did go off to the left and the right a bit. But when you're firing at a person, usually that, unless they're really far away, that won't really factor in too much to whether or not you hit them or not. So obviously if you're looking for Vortex stuff, because the Vortex line just got re-released, with these new reskins and then I hope that they'll be doing some newer blasters with the Vortex line. As someone who is just now getting Vortex stuff, I really hope to see what else they do with it. But overall I think that if you obviously if you want to get into Vortex then this or maybe the smaller blaster that is out than this one, because this one's kind of the middle of the road one, is a good starting point if you want to go online and try to buy some of the old stuff. Obviously there's more small pistols and stuff like that. But overall, I think that this is a pretty solid blaster, and w I could recommend this, obviously, if you want a drum mag or something, there's the Pyragon for you. But for what, for what it is and what you get, I think that this is a pretty decent nerf blaster. Nothing really to complain about. It works fine. I did not have any jams besides when I intentionally loaded the discs wrong. So, obviously, I don't really have anything else to say besides that. So this is a pretty solid blaster, and if you do want to get some Vortex stuff, then this is definitely a good blaster for you. Obviously, it does have the regular sufferings from no real printing on this side besides the paint, which is good. But overall, that concludes my review of the Vortex VTX Praxis. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did like my Nerf review this time around, I know I have not been doing a lot of these, feel free to leave a like, and you know if you want me to make more of those, <laughs> leave me a like. And, if you don't want me to make any more of these, or you think this one sucked, leave me a dislike, because that's perfectly fine too, and just let me know what you think sucked in the comments, so that I can fix it, if I do more of these in the future, ever. I know I've done like two whole nerf reviews so far, but anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.